Hey guys, welcome to Film World. Today I'm going to explain a mystery thriller film called The Boyos from 2021. Turn on subtitles and spoilers ahead. The movie starts with a couple, Thomas and Pippa, moving into their new apartment. The real estate agent gives them all the instructions about the house. The young couple is ecstatic to finally be settling into their new home. At night, they sit together drinking when Pippa says that they need to talk about the kids and tells Thomas that she doesn't want to have kids for at least 4 years. Pippa continues that she didn't get to enjoy her youth as she was busy in medical school so now she wants to enjoy and be rebellious for a few years thomas agrees with her wish to have fun and they share a sweet kiss as they are kissing they see a flashlight going on they look around and find that the flash came from the apartment across them as the couple is there and the man is taking pictures of the girl they are still looking when the couple kisses and start being intimate with each other pippa quickly looks away as she says that they shouldn't spy on the couple but thomas argues that they are not spying and the couple is just in their line of sight pippa again says that they are being weird to which thomas replies it is like they want us to see them but the couple finally agrees to give some privacy to their neighbors that night people wearing a hot lingerie and wants to celebrate the first night at their new place but when she goes to bed she finds tom sleeping the next morning people talks about the last night's events with her friend ari who says that it seems like the couple is an exhibitionist and people should take advantage of that when people comes back home thomas suggests that they should look at what their neighbors are doing and goes to look out the window people ask him to be careful and then joins him they discuss among themselves how they can approach the couple and be friends with them they decide to give the couple names and decide margaret for the woman and brent for the man suddenly as they are watching brent starts to choke while margaret is listening to music not knowing what is happening to her husband they are worried about the man and thomas makes a move to go there but just then margaret notices brent and helps him making pippa and thomas sigh in relief at night pippa can't sleep and gets off the bed to grab a drink she watches margaret leaving the house and brent is undressed on the window on the following morning thomas notices brent had the photo session with a girl in his house and flirts with her at night when pippa is coming back from her office when she notices binoculars at a shop and buys them so they can look at the neighbors better when she comes back home they use the binoculars to look at the couple and find that brent is cheating with the girl he earlier flirted with they feel bad for margaret and thomas is a little guilty that they are watching them like this but pippa assures him that this is fine they keep looking when brent is being in intimate with the girl and on Pippa's suggestion they also start to be intimate with each other while looking at the couple in the other apartment that night when thomas is asleep pippa again looks across and finds that margaret came back home and seems oblivious to what happened behind her the next day thomas and pippa meet ari and thomas's sister joni they all discuss about the couple as ari suggests that they can be in an open relationship pippa says that if they could hear the couple it would be great joni tells her that thomas and his friends had a crush on a girl in the college and they used to make a device using a laser pointer into a long range microphone to hear the girl's conversation pippa is intrigued by the idea so when they come back home she asks thomas to tell her about it so they can make a device to hear margaret and brent thomas tells her that glass windows vibrate due to the sound and they can use a laser beam to detect the vibration patterns and then translate it into waveforms to hear the voices on another side pippa is excited by the idea and says that they should have done this before but thomas says that it is probably illegal and there is no way they can do it across the street he says that it is only possible if there is a mirror in the opposite apartment that can bounce back the laser beam just when they are talking about this they find out that there is a costume party going on in brent's apartment pippa says that she has an idea and they both dress up and sneak into the party they talk around with different people pretending to be invited and even gets their picture taken by brent as everyone is busy talking pippa secretly places a mirror on the back of a sculpture by the window and they both come back to their apartment after that their mission is successful as the laser successfully bounces back to their apartment thomas sets up the equipment and they start listening to the couple's conversation and find them fighting as margaret accuses brent of cheating on her brent pretends to be hurt by margaret's words and says that margaret wants to leave him so she is trying to drive him away when brent says that he would have to think about the divorce at some point if they keep fighting like this margaret quickly apologizes for her behavior and says that she doesn't want to leave him brent still treats her badly and goes away after asking her to stop being stupid. Pippa and Thomas are shocked by all this. The next day Pippa is working at the eye clinic when surprisingly Margaret visits the clinic to get her eyes checked. Pippa gets to attend Margaret and finds that her real name is Julia. They get along well during the session and Julia offers Pippa to go out to a spa at the weekend. Pippa accepts the offer to hang out again. While at home Thomas again witnesses Brent sleeping with another woman. That night Pippa tells Thomas about Julia visiting the clinic and says 
that she feels bad for her and wants to tell her about Brent cheating. Thomas is a little tired by all this and says that they are obsessed. He says that he was excited when they move in together, but all they do is keep their lights off and stalk the couple. Pippa is still thinking about warning Julia, even though Thomas asks her to leave the couple alone. But Pippa again spying on Julia wearing hot lingerie and trying to seduce her husband. But Seb doesn't feel like making love tonight and leaves her alone in bed. On the weekend, Pippa goes to spa with Julia. She finds that Brent's real name is Seb and he is a famous photographer. She also finds that Julia is not very happy with her life but loves her husband very much. On the following days, Pippa continues to spy on Seb and finds him intimate with multiple women. At night, after Thomas falls asleep, Pippa looks into Julia's apartment and finds Julia reading alone while Seb is asleep. Determined to tell Julia about her husband, Pippa tries to connect her computer to Julia's printer. And after succeeding, she sends an anonymous message telling Julia that her husband is cheating on her. Just then, Thomas comes to Pippa and asks what she is doing but she asks him to be quiet and see what happens. Julia finds a condom in the bathroom trash can while Thomas is worried and scolds Pippa about doing this and being so obsessed with the couple. Pippa sees that they both did it and he can't just blame her now. Just when they are arguing, Thomas notices Julia taking a knife and going to Seb. She is about to stab her husband but stops at the last time. Thomas is shocked and relieved by this and throws binoculars away, asking Pippa to stop her obsession. Next morning, Thomas and Pippa talk about the last few weeks events and decides not to stalk the couple anymore. But just then, Pippa notices Seb holding Julia's dead body in the bathroom who apparently slit her own throat. They are both shocked by this and Thomas leaves after breaking up with Pippa, saying that it all happened because of her as he told her several times to stop being so involved in someone else's life. A few days, Pippa is heartbroken by all this but continues to watch Seb who is coping with the sadness by drinking. One day, she finds Seb going to a nearby bar and follows him there. In the bar, Seb approaches her and they start to talk casually. As Seb tells her that he is going to throw the most difficult separation of his life. After some time, Seb asks her to go back to his apartment with him so he can take some pictures of her. Pippa agrees with his offers and goes back with him. Seb takes some pictures of Pippa and then manipulates her to pose naked as well. Pippa does as he asks and they end up having sex. Meanwhile, Thomas comes back home at the same time and consumes a drink from the refrigerator but doesn't like its taste and pours the remaining into Pippa's bird feeder. He then looks at Seb's apartment and is shocked to find Pippa having sex with Seb. The next morning, Pippa dresses up and comes back to her apartment where she is horrified to find Thomas hanging by the ceiling. Days passed after Thomas's funeral was held and a still horrified Pippa confides in her friend Ari about everything. Ari says that she can't blame herself for everything as she doesn't know what would happen to Julia. Pippa says that she wants to meet Seb one last time as it may give her some kind of conclusion so they both decide to attend the opening of Seb's photo exhibition. At the exhibition, Seb gives a speech saying that this project was a collaboration with his wife and partner Julia and to Pippa's shock, Julia walks on the stage. Pippa is further speechless as the first picture is revealed and it's her nude portrait. Julia gives a speech and reveals that Pippa and Thomas were the subjects of their project. The apartment Pippa and Thomas rented was owned by Julia and Seb and there was a clause in the lease that stated that the couple consented to be photographed. The other pictures are revealed and they are on of Pippa and Thomas in their apartment, starting from the day they moved there. The last picture is one, a shocked Pippa found Thomas's body. Pippa is distressed by all this and walks out of there. She goes to Seb's apartment and finds all the cameras in their attic room, which is also filled with her and Thomas's pictures. She later decides to leave the apartment and before moving out, she finds all the dead birds on a grid below her bird feeder. After the successful exhibition, Seb and Julia attend a promoting interview and when they come back, they find a bottle of wine by their door. Congratulating them on their success. They come inside and drink wine and just then Pippa sends a message to their printer saying that she knows they killed Thomas. They look out the window and find Pippa standing on the rooftop. In the hope to stop her from telling anyone, they follow her. Pippa leads them to her eye clinic and says to them that she knows Julia poisoned Thomas and made it look like a suicide. Suddenly, Julia starts to feel dizzy and faints. Pippa tells Seb that she spiked their wine and soon he will also feel the effects. After they both collapse, Pippa places them under the LASIK machines and burns their corneas. After a few days, a new couple moves into Pippa and Thomas's old apartment. They observe Seb and Julia doing their task in their apartment as they both are now blind. Pippa also watches Seb and Julia from the rooftop and then walks away leaving her binoculars behind. To watch more explanations of these kind of movies, click on the videos on your screen and don't forget to let me know how you feel about today's video in the comments down below and at last, thanks for watching.